Inko, Season 3, Episode 79. Bill. Jesus fucking Christ, chill! Where's the fire? Oh, Nova. Nova! I, I like, don't understand what's going on. Yeah, well, neither do I. Right, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> it's just, it's like, it, it came out of nowhere. Chill, I'm gonna need an actual subject in a fucking sentence. It, it's just new, uh, like, a bill. Is that a name, or? The council passed it, like, apparently in the middle of the night at Charlie's insistence. And it's just... I, I, like, I, I don't know where we went wrong. We did everything he asked for, like... What does it do? It gives us, like, a timeline to dismantle several of our outposts, decreases the amount of GU citizens that can stay here from 1,500 to 500, and... I, I don't know. I, I just, like... I must have, like, blacked out after that, but I know I did everything right. So why is this happening? Shit. He really blindsided you, didn't he? There must be something I'm missing, or like something that we did that was like culturally insensitive or relevant. You have no idea what's culturally sensitive around here, do you? Because we have to like leave that department out! Is this like fun for you? Kind of. Like, I don't actually need a lot of money here, but I did enjoy the extra pocket change. I saw a play last week. I always thought it was something only rich people did, but here we are. You talk to people, right? Like, what have they been saying about the Galactic Union? Mostly that you keep to yourself and that we're curious. Then that's not it. Was it like your gallivanting around that did like- Chell, do you think we'd have any power at all here? You're like friends with a prince. Ah, yes, pretty boy. The kid who came back here and did what exactly? As far as I can tell, he started representing his homeland, but all his letters from the council got rejected until his sister came along. I don't think we're close. I would like understand if it was just the council. But the council has been trying for like years and years and like Atrelli has always, always protected us. Have you tried talking to him? Our private line has like been severed. You have a private line? Not anymore. He just like cut it off one-sidedly. There was no uptick in paperwork, no indication that anything was wrong. I think you're missing the obvious answer here. Like what? He's trying to get rid of you. But like, why? His entire reputation is thanks to our innovation, our systems, our media analytics. Maybe he learned to do it himself. He's not the type to. He, he like, doesn't think. Achelli has a small comfort zone. He likes to sit in, like, his nice little castle and do, like, the bare minimum. Right away his mistakes and, like, never, ever, ever, ever leave. That's what he does. Wow, what a fucking glowing review. Have you, like, met him? I've gotten close enough. Then you understand, like, exactly what I'm saying. I mean, he's not exactly the most reliable of allies. But, like, as long as- Exactly how easy was it for you to get this swanky spot in palace? I hear it used to be the council's wing. It, like, was, but- How hard was it for you to get here? It, like- But, like, what could have changed his mind? Does that really matter? I mean, you're losing ground. You're losing ground fast. Do you have, like, any suggestions? Or are you just trying to point out the obvious? What was plan A? What? Before all this happened, what was plan A? Like, when a trolley died, how exactly were you going to keep yourselves in power? That's, like, not going to work anymore. Why not? You, like, know how Hatow feels about me. And plan B? Uh, that's, uh, like, we don't have time for that. So- Plan A it is. I don't, like, this is not ideal. What about the situation is? Wait, but he, he like, likes you, right? No, we <laughs> Did you know that people think we're dating? No, but please. I, like, <laughs> need you to arrange a meeting. <laughs> Why don't you just request one? Our mail has, like, never gone through. His mother seems as interested in capitalizing on him as we are. For what? She has, like, some desperate dream to grant the exotic representation. And now he's doing exactly that. That was, like, lip service at best. But that means that he's still susceptible to being used. Right? Aren't you his friend or whatever? 
Chell, I came here to secure myself a nice and cushy life. This shit right now, it's getting in my fucking way. This episode was made by the It Me Podcast Production LLC. All voices were done by me. If you miss me between updates, follow me on Twitter at Inko Podcast or visit me for InkoPodcast.com for sound effects lists, blog posts, world building, mini episodes, and more. The music of this episode was I Wish I Knew by Otis McDonald. If you want to support the show, leave a review or a comment or to consider stopping by my Ko-fi link in the description. I'd love to hear from you. Stay safe. And as always, thank you for listening. <laughs>